am. I'm, I'm trash. What you mean? Look at six that. for twenty-four. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you was, I was looking at me. Was look, at, look at me, two for ten. Damn. <laughs> Shit. But look, we all plus minus in the positive. Yeah, yeah. Jaden had the hot. No, nah, Mike Conley. That's a lot. That's how I know. I'm going to be trusting that shit. That's a lot. That nigga can't even change the game. Yeah, that's cap. They gave him 11 points. What's the biggest 11 points oh, in this life? Oh, God. Carl, uh, you guys heard him down 17. It's uh, 20, I think, in the third quarter. Like, what did what did you notice? What flipped for you guys to allow you to climb back in it and take this? Sorry, hit some shots, playing some defense, even better at a higher level, I thought. And um, just this is Timberwolves basketball. I think I think this was just a, a a real showing of Timberwolves basketball as finest. You know, where it's a team effort. Uh, you know, we got hype for players that we have, me, him included, on this table, but like. I said we have we don't have a big three. We got a big fifteen. You know, we, we every single person on this team means a lot to this team, and they help in so many different ways. And uh, this game just shows that the Timberwolves, not Anthony Edwards, not Carl Anthony Towns, not Rudy Gobert, the Timberwolves are a special team. Down at the end of the game, you got hundreds of fans right behind your bench going. And what was that moment like for you? You've been through a lot with this franchise. Just what were your emotions like as you? Soaked in, in all. Yeah, I don't know the cameras, Carter, but uh, I definitely had a moment. Just you know, I've been here nine years. I've talked about wanting to win and uh, do something special here at this organization. And you know, for all the failures and all the things that didn't materialize and happen, and um, the disappointment that comes with it to be having this moment where, even just for this moment, we get to celebrate the, the wins. You know, uh, for me, being here nine years, I've seen everything and seen it all, and. Um, man, fuck them nine years. Just, <laughs> man, fuck it, right? But um, this year. to be in here and this year with these guys, this team, after all that, it, it just is super special. That. And you, you talked about uh, the, the job Carl's done defending Jokic and, and how important this that has been in this series. Kind of felt like you guys really needed the offensive push from him today. And in, in addition to that, what stood out to you about his game tonight? Um, he made all the right plays tonight. Like once again, he only took 14 shots. Um, he's always super efficient from the field. Um, and he carried us tonight. Every time we needed a bucket, um, he was there for us. We gave it to him in the post multiple times. He made the right play multiple times over and over again. And we get on him about crashing from the top, but today he crashed yeah. from the top for a big yeah. bucket that we needed. So uh, big shout out. Yeah, for sure. He put us on his back tonight. They hate when it don't work and they love when <laughs> they it love works. They love when it works. That's how <laughs> I go. After game five, but you win two elimination games and you KO the champs in their own house at Game 7. Just what type of statement win do you believe this to be about this team and the way you guys were able to win today? I mean, it showed us who we who we are. Because um, the coaches believed in us, um, even though at halftime, even in the third, we was down 20. They like, just keep making runs, keep making runs. And it showed us who we are, man. Once we really lock in on the defensive end, because offensively, we played okay. But once we really lock in on the defensive end, man, we, we're a hell of a team to beat. And it was along that run, I think it was something like 31 to 9, maybe even better than that, from late in the th or early in the third to early in the fourth. Was there a, a sequence that where you're like, okay, we we got this. The, the game is back turning in our favor? Yeah. Um, I mean, <laughs> I don't Rudy even know. Turn around. The yeah, I think, when, I, yeah I think when Rudy hit the turnaround, I was like, yeah, we probably got him. <laughs> Because <laughs> I know that'll kill you. I know that'll kill your whole. That'll kill everything. Yeah. Hey, big shout out to Big Rue, man. Big Rue hit the turnaround on the air. On God's day, too. <laughs> nah, yeah, I think that's when I knew we had him. Once he hit that turnaround. You guys, um, Carl got that fifth foul, and Nas Reed came in and and set the tone on both ends of the floor. Just talk about how special he's been this series, and uh, what he means to this team. Um, me and Cap was just talking about it up here. Um, I think the plus minus stuff is trash because Nas, when Cat got his fifth foul, Nas came in and he played great defense on Jokic. Um, got a got a couple offensive rebounds, um, hit a big shot, got a big dunk, um, made got a couple steals. He played hard, man. So, you know, he's he's 
it's super important to our team. And um, we tell him all the time, just stay with it, stay with it. And he stayed with it tonight and it showed for sure. I think just for me, it's just anyone who doubted him being the sixth man of the year, the silence would be louder. He showed it tonight. <laughs> You guys, what does it look like when, like, at halftime, when, like, Finch comes in and is ticked? You say what? Finch comes in and is mad, and clearly mad. Like, what does that look like at halftime? He wasn't really mad today. It was more so, like, he was like, I know we're going to win this game. We just got to do this to win the game. Like, he wasn't really mad. Um, he just came in, and the clips on the, on, on the, um, the screen were like, this is what we got to do to come back and win this game. Mm -hmm. If we do it, we'll win. If we don't, we're, we're going to lose. And we did that. perhaps on facing Dallas in the next round? Honestly, I think this for us, we just so happy about this moment. We can't even like <laughs> think about the next moment. I'm thinking about it. But I would say for us, we just got to, if we continue to play Timberwolves basketball, it will fix a, a lot of problems that we may have with that team and what they do best. So as long as we play Timberwolves branded basketball, yeah. I think I like for our sure. chances. Sure. For both of you guys, just what does it mean to go back to Target Center? Now you're going to be hosting the Western Conference Finals in front of your fans. Just what this means for the organization in general. I'm going to let you talk about that. I've only been here three years. <laughs> oh, now you've only been here three years. <laughs> um, the fans have been waiting for this moment. And this team has brought them this moment. So, you know, it's up to us now to capitalize on this opportunity and be the best team we could be. And, and like I said, play Timberwolves basketball. Every time this series we play Timberwolves basketball, we've had the result we've been looking for. And every time we try to de deviate from that plan, it hasn't done well. So Today the fans know crazy. what they want. Today was crazy, but we was down 20. That wasn't Timberwolves basketball. That was park basketball. Then we started playing. That was Timberwolves. Wolves basketball. That, then we started yeah, playing. We that was Wolves. Now yeah, we played Timberwolves. Timberwolves at the end. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is for either one of you guys. It, and usually in NBA history, it says you have to lose and lose big before you win. What is it about this team that says We lost guys, last year. Yeah, but that, that, that's different. You have to lose at a bigger stage. Usually, teams usually. It's the playoffs. Win. We lost last year. <laughs> we lost the last two years. <laughs> God damn. How much more we got to lose? Yeah, how much you want us to lose? We've been losing for 20 years. <laughs> I mean, that's just the truth, dog. God damn. <laughs> what, makes, what makes you guys believe that you guys don't have to wait any longer, that just getting past the second round isn't the goal, that you guys can win the next two rounds? I think... Um, and I think this is the biggest thing to answer that question. It starts with our, with our head coach, Chris Finch. Um, he comes in every day, comes to work. He gets there early. He's thinking of ways to get me and Kat open looks. He's thinking of ways to get Mike and Rudy open looks. He's thinking of ways to get Jaden involved. He's trying to keep Nas in it to get him involved. He's just a great coach, and he don't sugarcoat anything with anybody. Like, if Cat fucking up, he gonna get on Cat. If I'm fucking up, he gonna get on me. If Rudy fucking up, he gonna get on anybody that's messing up throughout the game. And I think that's what makes him the best coach in the NBA to me because no matter who it is, no matter how high the player is on the pole, he's going to get on you from, from start to finish. And it starts with the head of the snake, and he's the head of our, of our, of our snake. And, um, you know, we all listen to him, look up to him, and he, he does he do a great job of making sure we're ready to go every night. Um, guys, uh, I know this is uh, something very special, but what are your, th are your thoughts about that you are doing this 20 years uh, later exactly than the first time that the Timberwolves were in a... Uh, Western Conference Finals with KG? I mean, just shout out to KG. Happy birthday, KG. Here's your president from all it of us. It was his birthday. <laughs> it was his birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. birthday, my boy. So, I mean, it's special. It's special anytime you get a chance to do it. But like you said, to have a legend who led the Timberwolves like that and then come 20 years later and be able to be in the same situation that he was in, uh, I think it's very special. Thanks, guys. Yep. Eddie McDaniels. Western Conference, uh, what, what's the award that they give out? Oh, they don't give it out yet, my bad. Yeah, but regardless, yeah, Jay McDaniels was the MVP of the last two uh, series. Um, yeah, once again, he did it again. Yeah, um, Jay McDaniels. He's been here three years, sorry.